Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make this Link Chibi from League of Zelda. So first of all, you'll be needing some different shades of brown and also different shades of green and also white color clay. So grab your flashcard clay and shape them into a squarish shape for the face. And make sure that you pinch at the top of the um, head, head to make sure that the bottom part will look kind of chubbier. Because this is a chibi and chibi tend to have a chubbier cheeks. So this is how it looks like. And then just grab another piece of flashcard clay to make the nose. And just kind of blend them in with your um, tooth. And this is how it looks like after you are done. And just grab a lighter shade of brown to make the hair. And just make them into a teardrop shape. You'll be needing three parts the fringe and two of the sideburns, like so. And just attach them um, first and adjust them to however you like them to be. And after you are done attaching them, just grab the same colored clay and make a um, circle shape and just flatten it down and attach them to the back of the hair, the head for the hair. And just trim off the excess because you don't want them to be overloaded. After that, just blend them in with your ball tool. And done. So grab a green colored clay to make the head. So first you make them into a cone shape. After that, just give it a good pinch at the bottom part, just so that it will give the head a little curve shape, like a witch head. And just trim off the excess because you don't want them to be um, too big. So just trim it off and just attach them to the um, head and just give it a good press with your fingers, just so to secure it. And after that, just give it a little good bend at the top part. And just grab another shade of green to flatten them down. And just kind of trim them um, into a thinner shape. After that, just, you know, attach them to the bottom parts of the head. After you are done, just trim them the excess off and just blend that in and give it a little good press to secure the um, strips of clay to the head and then grab a flesh colored clay to make the ears and I'm making a curve shape to make them look like the elf ears and just blend them in like so And right now let's proceed to the body parts and I'm using this brown clay to make the body and I'm making them into a somewhat a triangular shape but not that triangle if you get what I mean just look how I do it it's not really that pointy at the top after that just grab the same colored clay that you use it for the head and just do what I'm doing right now just measure it and just trim them off and make, uh, make the somewhat looks like a singlet shape just kind of like you know trim them off and they look kind of like a elf um, float just after that just attach them together and using the brown clay you will be making the sleeve like so and after you're done just give it a little good trim at the top and after that just add on the um boots itself and using the same colored clay to make the uh, for the hair I will be making the belt with it and I just trim them off and after that I'll be adding a darker shades of brown in the middle parts for the badge and just add on the hands and right now I'm making the sword itself and I'm making the handle parts and right now I'm making the knife and also give it, giving it a little good indent with a needle tool after that just attach them to the hand and make sure that you secure it with a TOS or even metal um, string right now I'm making the show and I'm using this kind of like a milky brown colored clay and I'm trimming off them into this um, shape and I'm kind of like 
rubbing them off with a darker shade of brown. And I'm giving them a good little press with my knife just so that it won't look that circular outside. And adding a cross on top of the shell. After that, I would be using a ball tool to kind of you know give it a little indent instead of looking that boring. So just give it a little detailing. And after that, you are done. Just attach the head, the head to the body parts, and just secure it together. After that, just add the eyes. I know the eyes are in blue color, but I will be using brown instead. So just attach this shell and make sure you secure them up. And I'm using a needle tool to give them kind of like a indent on the hair. Because I think that it looks way better with the detailings. After that you are done and thank you so much for watching my videos guys and see you and have a nice day.